In 1992, it seemed, there was hardly a week we didn't cover a celebrity event raising money for one AIDS group or another. From glitzy, celebrity-filled extravaganzas in New York and Los Angeles, they walked to fight AIDS in Nashville. It's very important to Nashville. People are, are dying of AIDS every day here in this community. And they walked at the movie studios in Hollywood. Stars turned out at flea markets and at memorials in the nation's capital. Nicholas Nicky Prinza, Don Boyles. Red ribbons to show support were everywhere, even the Oscars and Emmys and Grammys. Some stars became more outspoken in 92 about the health crisis. Few of us have responded with enough urgency to meet this crisis of catastrophic proportions. There are some who argue that Hollywood just doesn't care about the epidemic, but in 1992, we find plenty of evidence that it does. Go to any AIDS fundraiser any night of the week, and you'll be hard-pressed to find a celebrity who has not been personally touched by the epidemic. Two weeks ago, my, an agent who really brought me through a lot of the last couple of years died. I don't think there's a week that goes by that I don't talk to someone, visit someone, am not contacted by someone's either lover or family. You know, it's, it's, it's impossible. I don't know how you cannot be touched by it. I'm still affected today by all the people I've known and loved uh, that have died due to AIDS. Hollywood has long been criticized for being two-faced about AIDS, supportive on a personal level, but hesitant to okay movies and TV series that dealt realistically with it. That began to change in 92 as well. These scenes are from the new HBO movie, and the band played on. It'll be televised later this year. Based on the national bestseller about the spread of AIDS early in the epidemic, it languished on the shelf for years. A deal was finally struck last fall after Richard Gere agreed to sign on. He'll play one of the roles. There have been 150,000 Americans who've died through AIDS. There are about 50,000 men who died in Vietnam. We have been invaded, and our government has not responded to this invasion. Perhaps not, but it is argued the entertainment industry has started to. Some of Hollywood's most senior executives took part in the recent first anniversary meeting of Hollywood Supports, an organization trying to help the business turn the corner on AIDS, working, for instance, for better employee health benefits and bringing more sensitivity to projects the networks and studios authorize. Barry Diller is the former head of 20th Century Fox and a major player in Hollywood. What it is doing is to help end AIDS discrimination in this community. Sid Sheinberg heads the company that owns Universal Pictures and Television. And we really want to get our uh, movers and shakers to get the people who work for them to really utilize the program. Billionaire entertainment mogul David Geffen is one of Hollywood's richest men. I think the entertainment business, the entertainment community uh, is extraordinarily generous and the people in this community are extraordinarily generous. There are currently over half a dozen major motion pictures in development or production, up from zero just a year ago. Some may never be completed. That's life in the big business of Hollywood. But the fact that they're being readied at all is considered to be progress. If anything was different in 1992, it may have been the sheer volume of loss, the unrelenting stream of death, it seemed, that made talk about AIDS in show business disturbingly familiar. If AIDS was movie fiction, it is a play that would have been over by now, all the plot twists neatly tied together. But AIDS is real, and as 1993 begins, there is no happy ending in sight. Garrett Glazer, Entertainment Tonight.